Hello, welcome to this new video tutorial on parameterized test. Parameterized test allow uh, a developer to run the same test over and over again using different values. What is happening here is that in the pre for example in the previous CO tutorial we pass only one a sample value to each test case and sometimes we want a set of data sets that we want to pass to the same test case and in order to achieve this one we can make use of parameterized test values it is just mean like we want to repeat many values to pass many values to a single test case the process of automating this one is then called the parameterized test. How can we achieve this one in JUnit? The next one show the following steps. <coughs> the first one is to annotate the class with parameterized test. Then after that one, we create a public static method annotated with add parameters that will return a collection of objects as the data set then we create a public constructor of our class that take what is equivalent to one row of the test data and create an instance variable for each column of data set <coughs> lastly we create our test cases using instances variables as the source of the test data <clears throat> the test case will be invoked on so each row of data. Then let's see parameterized test in action. <clears throat> Here I have prepared already a, a sample source code for the sake of time. <clears throat> so <coughs> here is what is happening we are just importing making our imports importing packages then first thing is here is we create a normal java class and annotate it with the following parameterized run with parameterized class this make our this class a parameterized one then we create uh, our private attributes then here <coughs> is where you create our data set as parameter by annotating uh, this collection that we are creating here as parameter we make it our parameterized uh, data set here is our data set and the first one is the expected value here and then the first and the second the this one the second and the third are the two uh, parameter that we pass to our test method and sorry if you go back to our test method here i will here we have our sum here that take two uh, two values and return the sum so you are just uh, testing that one and now <coughs> the next thing is to create the constructor here is our constructor and then we pass to that constructor we pass to that constructor an equivalent of one row of uh, our test uh, data so we pass to that constructor the expected result the first and then the second number and this one match exactly one uh, entry of uh, our test uh, our data set in this way now we can create uh, 
our test cases by annotating our method the test now this one is our test cases that will run over and over now in order to get our method here we create an instance of our calculate class here that we have defined here and then from there we can make use of our sum method and by asserting that one to the expected value now if we run it we can see here by running one time the different we have one two three four we have four test cases that are running we have a single uh, test cases that run four times with different values from our data set <coughs> So thank you for watching. I wish I hope that uh, this uh, short tutorial has been useful to you. And <clears throat> if you like it, then stay tuned for the next video tutorial. Ciao.